Welcome, I'm from the Poco X3 and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. And to get started, we will need to pull down the notification panel, extend it and look for the hotspot toggle, which I actually need to find, I have no idea where it is, but oh, there it is, hotspot. So it's this Wi-Fi si signal icon with a pencil. And before you actually tap on it, you want to hold it so we can customize things like password. So once you hold it, it takes you to settings and from here you want to tap on setup portable hotspot. And as you can see, there is the SSID, which that's going to be the name of the Wi-Fi. And you can change it if you want to keep it as it is. It's completely up to you. Um, it's just going to be what you're looking for in the Wi-Fi list. And then the password, as you can see, it's just some kind of randomly generated password. So we can remove this one and set our own. Now it does need to have eight characters in length, otherwise you cannot save it or eight characters or more. Then I have security, I would keep it as it is. Um, device identification, portable hotspot, again, I'll probably keep it as it is. Uh, and then we have the select AP band now, unfortunately I believe, yeah, it's the one or the other. So I would advise you to try the five gigahertz band. Um, this is something completely different than you have with the uh, 5G phones right now with the cellular data being 5G and this is just for Wi-Fi and your phone doesn't need to be a 5G phone to actually support this. Uh, but the benefit of this option uh, is that the Wi-Fi signal will be stronger and faster. So uh, that's why I advise you to try it. Uh, the downside is not every device will support it. Uh, some like older devices from for instance like 2015 or so probably will not support this. Um, but even flagships or some like mid-range devices did support it, I believe, at that time. I might be wrong, but uh, the 5G has been around for a while now, so keep that in mind. Um, but if you're not sure if your device supports it, enable it. Uh, enable the hotspot then with it and try to connect to it. If you don't see your name right here, uh, which is provided uh, in the Wi-Fi list, that means that your device just simply doesn't support it. And all you will need to do is just go back to the settings and change it to 2.4 and everything will work, work fine. So from there, once all that is set, click on the check mark to save it, and we're basically done with setting it up. So all that's left to do now is tap on the toggle to enable it. And there we go. Now, once you're done with it, I would advise you to disable it, otherwise it will be using a little bit more battery. Um, and I think also turning off uh, things like your Wi-Fi, or it looks like it's not in this case. So that's nice. But yeah, so tap on it to turn it off, and that's it. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.